Tommy Lee, and uh, this is my first time at a meetup. It's not a build because I need to take things out if I, I'm in a condo in case I get called on having a camper. So I've run into that with bigger campers, so that's why I'm downsized. I have storage, I have toilet paper in there. I was hoping my my porta potty would go in there, but it's, it's too, big. too big. In the door here, I just have spray, bug spray, and hand sanitizer, and a salt spray, mm -hmm. and Kleenex, and oh, and a poncho. Um, I just this morning changed everything around but this is my kitchen cabinet i have my dishes up here utensils and this is sort of my personal i have my medications here and i have facial wipes in here and washcloths in the bottom and of course a little bit of flowers to make it homey and um hand lotion this is my ladybug theme here. <laughs> it's just as easy to, I just take this down because I have the, the fillet in here, husk pellets, mm -hmm. which absorb everything. Yes, they, they do a good job. Yeah, and cover it over mm -hmm. when I'm not using it. So in my bed is a cot, which I find quite comfortable for now. And I have my clothes under here, and and these these are this was a cabinet that I had here, and I decided it, it, I had too many things, so I just took the drawer out and put them under here. So I have my underwear in one, my tops in another, and my slacks in another. Mm -hmm. And then there's a bigger one over here that I have uh, jackets and winter clothes. Well, not too much winter right now. And I have my Winnie. My car is called Winnie. So I have Winnie because my daughter was supposed to be camping with me. And unfortunately, she passed away four mm -hmm. years ago. And she's only 55. Mm -hmm. So Winnie was her favorite, all the verses from Winnie. So Winnie travels with me. And mm -hmm. and it, it's a little bit of her. Mm, that's know. so sweet. Yeah. Life is meant for adventure. Isn't that true? Yeah. The older we get, the more we appreciate that, don't we? <laughs> right. <laughs> I'm older than anyone here, I think. I'm not sure, but I'm 84. Yeah, my kids think I'm too old to be doing this, but I don't feel that I am 84. Mm. I'm spry enough. There'll you be sure a time. Are. That's why it's not a build, because there'll be a time I won't be able to do it. Yes, probably. me too. Yeah. She she not only liked Winnie, but she liked ladybugs. So I have my winter jacket or in here. Mm -hmm. So that's my ladybug. So do you sleep with your head down on this end? I, I down this end because I didn't level this. Oh. And so this is higher and I'm supposed to be... I have a hiatal hernia, and so yeah. my head is supposed to be up my shoulder. So. so that works? So it works. Yeah. Yeah. And, of course, my fans are here. I got one on either side. Oh, I've had had uh, two different road trucks mm. before. So, um, yeah, I've camped before. So how do you like being in this smaller space? What do you think about it? I like this better than the road tracks or any class B or C because I hated um, emptying my black tank. You know, you have to find a place to empty it and so uh, it was one of the things that I did not like. So now I just have the bags. I have these bags that open up. Those are probably meant for that. That's what it's, they're for. It's for the for the party. 
and you just put them in there, and I put the horse pellets in there. Mm -hmm. And then uh, when I'm all done, mm -hmm. I just fold it up. It just goes in there, nice. and it's got a zip lock, and there's absolutely no smell, and you can drop it in any trash. How about the difference in driving one of these and parking it compared to your bigger rigs? Oh, it's fantastic, especially the big one like I had, like the dark one. The huge. My GPS got me on a wrong road. And in New York, Merritt Parkway, which has low bridges, and my van was higher than the bridge. And I had to stop and call 911. And the police came. It was, it was a foot, foot higher. But the policeman had me move over to the middle, and I could just get under the bridge, but it was hairy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, this I have, it's so, when I wander, I, I'm a big reader, and so I can just sit up there and be comfortable reading, and on my YouTube channel watching butterfly track <laughs> and, and I can be comfortable doing it. That's really yeah. nice. You have it very well set up. Just perfect for you. If you had seen it this morning, you wouldn't have thought so. <laughs> <laughs> so this is my ice chest. I hope it's cold enough for the food that's in it. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I had four ice packs plus cubes, so mm -hmm. I'm open. You know, and I have a small burner and I made tea. Oh, this is how, this is my, how I roll. Cute. <laughs> and this has got all my food in it that mm -hmm. I have. And Not this perishable? Is, and this is just some paper plates in, in which I'm going to get rid of when I get home. Because I, I don't know if I'll need them and I don't like using paper plates yeah. either. And a friend of mine oh. built this for me. I got to move it over <coughs> because it fit and then I moved it. And so this doesn't go flat, but I can put stuff on here. I'm going to cover it with the plastic and be able to cook here too. Nice. Yeah. So, and this is some more food here, my, my little cutting board. Nice. And this is this is the stove that I used this morning. It just goes on, a, yeah, propane. And I got this in case I want to do fish on an open fire. Mm -hmm. You know, and that's a little bit of everything. Right here. Yeah, kitchen stuff. <laughs> I see you have a little strainer. Yes, yes. And that's is that a what's that? There's a collapsible. This is a collapsible sink. Yeah, which, of course, obviously with the label in it, I haven't used yet. <laughs> yeah, and but that this, could be useful for a lot of things. I love the collapsible stuff. This is a little strainer mm -hmm. that collapses, and and uh, and this my pots and pans. I'm happy with this for now. I'm sure I'll change it sometime. Very nice, really it nice, is. neatly done. Yeah. So how you how have you this being your first meetup? What do you think? I'm already April. I've already got a trip going. Um, my, one of my granddaughters is in um, Texas, so I'm going to go to Texas, and I hope to be able to get to Arizona and New Mexico. And she gets married in September, so I have to be back on Cape Cod in September. That will be my start out. Usually I go to the Cape in the summer, but uh, I'm changing things around. So. Good for you. Open yeah. to new things. Yes. You are an adventuresome soul. <laughs> well, I've been doing a lot of traveling before this. My parents love to travel, and I've been to all 48 states already, but I it's just I want to go in get into the states more in depth than me too than I have um, yeah, I like history so I you know figure I'll get find some historic places yeah so you can yeah, make a trip around that yeah like that. yeah 
Yeah. Maybe we'll do a little history trip together somewhere. That's that, I'd love it. Yeah. I me too. I'm it. serious. Yeah. yeah we'll do I that. would love it. Yep. I don't feel eighty four. Um, um, no, I'm just telling my son and my granddaughter that yes, I can do this, and yes, I will do this, and um, they better like it. And look <laughs> at you, you're doing it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> well, thank yeah. you so much for showing us your beautiful, very neat, cozy little van. Yes, love it. Thank you.